Uh, let's learn how to make our text into a circle. In Photoshop Elements, um, we currently do not have the ability to throw text onto a path of uh, various shapes, but we can um, turn our text into a really nice circle. I have here a layout I made um, with text that I put around each of the photos that says, You Make My World Go Round. And um, this was quite a fun layout to do. The, my men were um, giving me a Mother's Day gift with a photo shoot at the uh, park, and I told them to lay down like this and, and just stood over them and took pictures. Of course, the sun was in their eyes, and they were uh, <laughs> complaining and being goofy. Uh, anyway, it just, just turned out to be a fun layout. There are um, quite a few techniques uh, that you can utilize to uh, make your layout uh, very artistic. Uh, with the circle of text, you can place it um, on your photos so that it uh, brings focus to the focal point of the photo. And you can also maybe try putting the text partly on the photo and partly off the photo. Um, and that will also lead the eye. Um, another idea uh, might be to maybe dangle, dangle a tag um, from the circle of text. Um, maybe uh, you might want to put it so part of the circle of the text is behind the photo and part of the circle of text is in front of the photo. Uh, that uh, really gives a unique feel um, to the layout and uh, maybe I will uh, do another tutorial or another technique challenge on how to do that another day. I have here a blank file which I've already created and let's get right into seeing how simple this is. I need to do this in a 12 by 12 rather than my rectangle layout um, because this really needs to be square and so I'm simply going to take and start text directly on the edge of the page and it's going to say you make my world go round and I can't see my text you <laughs> make my world go Round to see if I'm doing any errors. It's so small right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and then uh, let's make this text bigger. I'm going to highlight it and make it much larger. And you can just play with it. And what you want is uh, to have this text go and end exactly on the opposite side of the page. So here, this size is too large. This size is too small and now I can see a little typo but I'm going to go ahead and s accept this size and now there are a lot of ways that you can uh, make your text uh, reach all the way across you can add extra spaces in between the letters if you need to or um, in my case I'm just going to grab the edge and make it reach from one side of the paper to the other The next step is to go to the image drop down menu, rotate, and now I want to choose uh, this second set of uh, rotation tools. The top set of rotation tools will rotate the entire layout, um, which would be every single layer that I have over there in my layers palette, which currently is only two. Uh, so we want to go down to the second set and flip the layer horizontal and this turns it so it's upside down. Then we're going to go back once again and flip the layer vertical and this makes it so that it reads totally backwards. Now for the magic to go to the filter drop down menu then distort and then polar coordinates and I forgot this important step right click on the layer in the layers palette 
and choose Simplify Layer. Now this changes it so this is no longer editable by text. <laughs> I can't say that word. Editable. <laughs> Nobody go quote me now in the forum, okay? Anyway, I can no longer edit it with text. Now I can go to the Filter drop-down menu, Distort, and Polar Coordinates, and it's going to bring up this pop-up box. And I want to have Rectangular to Polar cho chosen, and I cannot see anything in the preview because my preview is zoomed in too far. So if I click on this little minus sign, it, it makes uh, the preview smaller, and I can see that it is a complete circle, and I'm going to click OK and now you can see that um, I have my text in a circle. Now when I flipped the letters, um, uh, rotated the letters and flipped them, what that did is it made it so this would begin reading at the top and begin reading around. Um, you might want to go ahead and test flipping it with, be, without rotating it so you can see uh, what that does. But uh, and the difference it makes. And then I would simply take this. Now if you're doing a, a square uh, layout, you can make it right in your layout, but since I'm doing a rectangular layout, layout I had to uh, put this in a, uh, a new layout. And then I'm going to just drag that into my layout and not save that one. And you can see now I have this uh, new circle of text. And I'm anxious to see what you all have to do um, with this. It can be used very artistically, a lot of fun, very simple technique, and I'll be watching the forums.